Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create plenum box with mesh screen Revit family. In this video, I will use the created air diffuser family. You can find and watch how to create this air diffuser family in the channel. And I will refer those dimension in the picture to create the parameter. Before go to Revit, I would like to request to subscribe the channel and click the notification bell for the next video. Ok, let go to Revit. Open the new family. Select the generic model and open it. Go to family category and parameter. Select air terminal for family category and select normal for part type. And click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 110 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for A1. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 10 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and add parameter for A2. Select instance and click OK. Go to family type. Add formula for A2 parameter. Click apply and OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to left view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 240 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for age. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to reference level. Go to create. Select the sweep. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Edit profile in left view. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the sweep. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Select instance and click OK. Go to left view. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Set a work plane. Pick up work plane and open reference level. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to left view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to 3D view. Join the geometry with each other. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 62 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 158 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and add parameter for D. Select instance and click OK. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 78 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 79 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and assign to D parameter. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. 
Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the axis line and finish the revolve. Back to create. Select the revolve. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Select the axis line and finish the revolve. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to material. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 50 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 2 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw a rectangle and lock to the reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to mesh screen material. Keep type and click OK. Go to front view. Select the existing reference plane. Offset 25 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and lock it. Go to create and select the reference line. Create a reference line and lock to reference plane. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Select the existing reference line. Offset 1 mm and create similar. Insert dimension and make equal. Insert another dimension and lock it. Go to create. Select the extrusion. Draw boundary line and lock to reference plane. Finish the extrusion. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to visibility graphic override. Shortcut is VG. Off dimension and reference line. Select the geometry. Assign the material parameter to mesh screen material. Go to family type. Click on the mesh screen material by category. Create a new material and rename it. And click apply. Open asset browser. Click on appearance library and select the metal. Replace satin screen material. Duplicate the asset and rename it. Go to graphic and select use render appearance. Click apply and OK. Go to front view. Select the geometry. Assign visible parameter to side connection. Select instance and click OK. Select the geometry. Assign visible parameter to top connection. Select instance and click OK. Check in 3D view. Save the family. This is created ceiling air diffuser family. I will use this created family as main family. You can find and watch how to create this family in the channel. Insert and load this created plenum box family into main family. Go to reference level. Align to the reference plane and lock it. Go to front view. Align to the reference plane and lock it. 
Select the family. Assign the material parameter to plenum box material. Select instance and click OK. Assign A1 parameter to plenum box A1. Keep type and click OK. Assign H parameter to plenum box H. Keep type and click OK. Assign D parameter to plenum box D. Keep type and click OK. Assign side connection visible parameter to side connection. Keep type and click OK. Assign top connection visible parameter to top connection. Keep type and click OK. Go to 3D view. Go to create. Select duct connector and select round shape. Place on duct connector. Select connector and assign the diameter to duct diameter parameter. Keep type and click OK. Set K coefficient for loss method and global for system classification. Go to reference level. Insert dimension image for reference. Go to family type. Select DN250 family type. Create a new family type for DN250 and diameter 160 for side connection. And click apply. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection. And click apply. Set 160 millimeters for duct diameter and click apply. Create a new family type for DN250 and diameter 160 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Offside and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. Select DN300 family type and click apply. Create a new family type for DN300 and diameter 160 for side connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection and click apply. Create a new family type for DN300 and diameter 160 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off side and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. Select DN400 family type and click apply. Create a new family type for DN400 and diameter 160 for side connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection and click apply. Create a new family type for DN400 and diameter 160 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Offside and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. And click apply. Create a new family type for DN400 and diameter 200 for side connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection and click apply. Create a new family type for DN400 and diameter 200 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off side and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. And click apply. Select D500 family type and click apply. Create a new family type for DN500 and diameter 200 for side connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection and click apply. Create a new family type for DN500 and diameter 200 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Offside and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. 
and click apply. Select DN600 family type and click apply. Create a new family type for DN600 and diameter 200 for side connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection and click apply. Create a new family type for DN600 and diameter 200 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Offside and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. And click apply. Create a new family type for DN600 and diameter 250 for side connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection and click apply. Create a new family type for DN600 and diameter 250 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Offside and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. And click apply. Select DN625 family type and click apply. Create a new family type for DN625 and diameter 200 for side connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection and click apply. Create a new family type for DN625 and diameter 200 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Offside and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. And click apply. Create a new family type for DN625 and diameter 200 for side connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Off top connection visible parameter for side connection and click apply. Create a new family type for DN625 and diameter 250 for top connection. Set parameters value as per image dimension. Offside and on top connection visible parameter for top connection. And click apply. Check and play the family type. Click apply and OK. Check in 3D view. Save the family. Let test the family in the project. Insert and load this family into project. Select the family and check in 3D view. Select each family and select the family type. Go to mechanical level 1 floor plan. Select air terminal and draw the duct. Check in 3D view. OK, plenum box for air terminal family creation is completed. You can find and watch how to create air diffuser family in the channel. If you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button. Thank you for watching.